We return to the scene just in time for the start of this contest. Players are in position as we begin. Edmonton's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. Clefbaum slashed on the play, and there will be a penalty. Shutout positioning by Nugent Hopkins. He imposed his will. That shot came from just six inches. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. McDavid's getting a penalty for slashing. It's two minutes. Edmonton's special teams practice is focused on the power play. Let's see if it pays off. Right in that catching glove. Good work. Time of the penalty. Covers for a face off. Clean win on the draw. That didn't go like he wanted. That puck came free. Could have been handled that. Pitching it to Strome. A point blast. Good save there. The Oilers go back so that they can come back on this power play. And front. He works it along with a pass off the boards. Ryan Strome gets the puck, fifth overall in 2011. The Oilers go back to pick it up. Time is dwindling on this power play. Edmonton's carrying it in the defensive zone. The Oilers killed it off. Full strength now. Well, they say everything could be a teaching moment for the coaches. There's a teaching moment. Let's go back to the drawing board about that power play. Great glove save. Steps across that line. What a tremendous hit. This is not going to be a game for quiet players. You're going to need to be physical. That early hit sets the tone here for both teams. Laid up that right side to Nugent Hopkins. Talbot's at the bench. Extra man on. Edmonton's got a minor for slashing. The Oilers' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, their power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. Time of the penalty. Six minutes, 26 seconds. Perfect, Brister. Blockered away. Looking to pull you, Yarvi. The Oilers have possession in their own end. Is able to move on in. Great save. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. Carried towards the corner by Brodzia. Shot. Edmonton's in their own end and controlling play now. That puck left the zone, and so everybody has to drop back to center. Edmonton's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Penalty killing requires work. It requires determination, and you can't win if your killers let you down. They did an outstanding job there. Edmonton's in their own end and controlling the play. Fires one. Oh, what a chance, what a save. Intercepted it in no man's land. Driving in from no man's land. Wonderful stop. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. Edmonton's continuing on in the defensive zone. Picks it up back there. Pitching this one to Nugent Hopkins. Drill and a save. And yet another save. How does he do that? What quickness side to side. No team would. And there's a shot that seemed a bit late. I would be surprised, Doc, if there's not an answer for that. They used their fists and got a fistful. Five each for fighting. Both those guys making their way over to the penalty box. They're going to get a chance to cool down for at least five minutes each. Brodziak's headed down the tunnel. The trainer's going to go right after him after that fight. A little under seven minutes remaining. Still knotted at zeros. 
They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Right near the line, routine save. Skilled play by Russell. Directing that one to dry cycle. Skates it into the zone. Turned on net. He scores! So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. And they take that neutral zone face off. Hammers one. Outstanding work with the glove. And by number four, Chris Russell. Let's it go. Sticked away. Oh, that was hard to follow. Covers and stops play. Edmonton's got it again. Great job in his own end with that interception. A howitzer. Oh, a save there. And now it's directed to Kara. Snags the puck. Edmonton's forced another turnover in this very close game. A neutral zone interception. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Let's it go. And a save. Edmonton's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Pass to the slot. He scores! And the faceoff's won. Scored by number 56. Carries it on in from center. An enormous hit. Dreisaitl's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notice. Got it in his own end. Let's a shot fly. Glove save. Nice. Keeps and covers. Edmonton's got a defensive zone win. And he hammers one. Save there. Puck covered. Somebody's crossed the line here. I think he knows what might happen. Well, when you cross the line like that, you better be ready to get involved. Willemans Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Let's check in at ice level with Ray. Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. Shoots one. Score! They're back to within one. The Oilers, with the scoring of that goal, have cut the lead in half. And still an entire period to play. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Outstanding body contact. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Puck is thrown to Nugent Hopkins. Big drive! Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. The Oilers have been relying on their goaltender way too much. He's had an excellent night and kept them very close to this game. Left wing pass to Nugent Hopkins. Save! Edmonton setting things up in their own end. Trying to go to Dreisaitl. That puck's loose, mishandled. A collision! Dreisaitl's not very happy after taking that huge hit. He won't avoid something for doing that. A tad over five minutes have elapsed here in the second. So they've gotten one. Let's see if they can get another. The puck heads to neutral zone. And look, it's just like a magnet. Everybody goes there. That is a shot that went way wide. Boy, this puck had a lot of steam on it, but unfortunately, he turned his hands over, and that's what caused the puck to miss the net badly. Tried, but it didn't work. The Oilers continue on in their own end. A shot. Great save in close. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Fires a shot. Save. 
keeps and covers. Edmonton's prevailed on another faceoff. Passing one off now to Kara. Broke that play up at center. In with it now. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Knocked off the puck. Moving it to Puglio Yarvi. Fires. Got that. Tremendous scoring chance. It's one of those rare games where there's not much scoring, but there's been plenty of chances. The goaltenders have been excellent, and the energy has been high. Pass attempt to Stroll. Laid on to Russell. Stood in the path. Nice courage. He's got it. Snapping a pass to chase on. Crosses that line. Edmonton's on the move in the defensive zone. Outstanding hitting in this game. There's an example. Oh, he thought he was going to be able to squeeze through there, but the door got slammed. He got crushed into the boards. Flings it. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Just walking the tightrope. Takes that pass. Didn't get through. Brings it in for an attack. Wonderful save. Scooped up by Brodziak. Scooped up. Right near the line, can he keep it going? He wore that puck on a hard shot. A long scorcher! Sends it across the blue line. And a hold and a whistle. win it. Good place to shoot from. And a save. Pitching it to Nugent Hopkins. Let's it go. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Great opportunity. Better stop. Can start the attack going in the zone. Maybe can change the tide at center ice. Puck loose. Couldn't get through. Two periods have passed. Only one team scored that period, and it's the one that needed to. Is this momentum? Well, on the heels of that, it looks like we might have some war here. Well, when you act like that, you better be ready to defend yourself. Edmonton's power play continues into this period. Let's see how it does. The Oilers, in their own end, have control of the puck. Toward the net. Play goal, and it's a biggie. They earned the power play, and they knew this was a great chance for them. They tied the game up with a power play marker. The Oilers with a win at center. He's in on an onside play. Bodied off the puck. The Oilers have it along the side at mid ice. Shoots it off. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Shot. That's terrific goaltending. He's locked in now. Great save. Bounces it ahead to Nugent Hopkins. Lid to Clefbaum. Couldn't make it through. Can't retain possession. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Shoots. At least he protected his goaltender. Wow, that's 
that's got to be a call, that's got to be a penalty, and that's got to be... Okay, so we got a guy hurt here, and it looks like a fight's going to start. And that is one way to respond after you have an injured teammate. going back into old times for those two major penalties. This is old time hockey. Every whistle invites a scrum. Guys seem to be more involved punching each other in the nose than they are trying to score a goal. Edmonton's got a little bit of swagger going now. Their man's won the fight. The crowd is ecstatic. Took that draw and won it. He gave him a good shot, but a great pad answer there. Covers that for a stop. Just a bit under five minutes of sweat and anger here in the third. The winds have shifted yet again. This game is back in a tie. Just missed the net. Steps in from the neutral zone. On to Garrison. Stop! Edmonton's lead is now one. They have had an advantage. Whoa, and one guy's really hot right now, and maybe it'll be two. Well, this is where you might be looking to change the momentum of this game here, Doc, and we'll see if anything else takes place after that. Great save. Use that stick like a magic wand. Edmonton's along the wing at center ice. Brings a shot. Oh, what a stop. That was a tougher stop than the look. Oh, what a mean, mean hit that one was. That's probably going to bring an answer. And the end result of what's happened is this. The gloves are down. It's not about winning or losing the fight. It's about showing up. And he did in a big way. And out of all of this, both receive fighting majors. This is the game from yesteryear. Strap your helmets on, get your sweaters buttoned down. There's been lots of fights, and I don't think this is going to stop anytime soon. That didn't turn out very well for him as he's lost the fight and now not going directly to the penalty box. A power play that can generate goals is special. And this one has been. Let's see if it continues. So much of a power play is confidence. When you have a little success, you feel like you can do it again. That's what they should feel after they've already pocketed one power play goal. He just flat out missed it. Can make a play from the corner. Recollects it. Great defensive poke. Edmonton's continuing on in their own end. Trying for it. Score! It's another power play goal. Edmonton's done a wonderful job fighting their way back into a tie. This may require overtime or a shootout, or it may be decided in these next minutes. The Oilers win that neutral zone faceoff. That one went off soft. Over nine minutes have been played in this, the third period. Six goals in this game so far, divided in half. Got it on his stick in the slot. 
Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Gathered up again by Nugent Hopkins. If we had games like this more often, nobody would be talking about how difficult it is to score goals anymore in the National Hockey League. But as it stands tonight, this is a goal after goal after goal game. Looking to dry cycle. And it's a good pickup. Pitching this one to Lucic. Shot. Got a piece of that one. Terrific hand eye. Puck covered. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Yamamoto's injury is going to keep him out from the rest of the game. He will not return. Edmonton's quick on the draw. Ah, uh -huh. sir. He missed the net. That shot exploded off his stick, and he just missed. Can't get by. Turned it over. Directing that one to dry cycle. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. The Oilers with a neutral zone possession along the way. A huge moment in the game. Could it swing on this penalty? Edmonton sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. A huge face-off win there. Rister from the slot. Terrific shot, but a save. 57 seconds. Covers and stops play. Just a hair under four minutes left to go in the third. A hockey game is a game of lead changes. This one now is even. Puck free, roadblock by Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Edmonton's in the neutral zone along the way. Nice tip of the pass. Gains the zone. Hammer got that in the trapper. Hangs on for a whistle. That's a huge face-off victory for them. The angle changed. Waffle boarded. Oh, what a move. Corrals it. Shoots one. Great save. The Oilers with a big penalty kill. Power play can be a momentum builder or it can sap the life out of your team. That was a great opportunity for them in a key point in the game to really help themselves out. And they whiffed on it. A minute to go and we are on. Score! Oh, you knew this goal was going to be huge. This game has been tied and hard fought. The Oilers have gotten a one goal lead here in the third period. Do they go for two or do they just try to protect this? Edmonton's come up big on another faceoff. From the slot of Rister. He was standing in the lane and got some of Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. Intercepted that one at an important place. The Oilers continue to probe up the wing. Wonderful stop. Edmonton's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Has it back deep. The Oilers yank their goalie to try and get this back. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Wants the shoulder of the corner here. And he shoots. Shooter tempted to stare at the ceiling on that one. What a glove grab. The cage is vacant. Chance taking time. So important to win the next face off now. A backhand shot. Got his pad on that one. And it's held. The goalie has left. 
A skater is on. An extra one to try to get a key goal near the end. Okay, they've won it. Let's see. 